everybody, welcome to Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me and Sammy. Hey, Sam. We're so glad you're here today. Yeah, we're talking about Dr. Who does in the birthday party because, geez, just keeps getting worse. But thanks for joining me. I'm super glad you're here today. And uh, Sammy's doing good. He's getting older. Oh, he's a good boy. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. I love this guy. Let's go. Sam's hanging out in the costume over there. <laughs> He's like underneath it. Anyway, uh, yeah, Dr. Dozen, we did the video where she went shopping. Someone, some people have been doing some conjecturizing, taking a tally of what she's bought. And so far, the consensus is around $2,200 to close to $3,000 based on where she shopped, if she got deals or not. Um, and it's insane. And then I posted something on my thing because someone men mentioned that the bio kids were there, like the bio brothers and sisters of the twins and the mom, and they're saying some stuff. And so we're gonna go through this together. It's a long video, obviously gonna skip through a bunch of it, but apparently this one got a lot of people riled up, so let's get to it. Hi everyone, it's Alicia and the twins with the Dockerty Dock. Chill earrings, chill. As in today is Jason and Jordan's eighth birthday, so come spend the day with us. Did she really cut out the intro because I keep making fun of them? Well, too bad, because I'm putting it in anyway. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in my car in a giddy up. It's the most important part of these videos, are the intros. Presents hiding that I have to wrap. I wonder how hammered she is already. And... And then Aunt Kiki and Uncle Eric got the balloon arch put up for their party. Bodhi didn't get it. See, here's the big argument that's going on right now. Bodhi didn't get as much. He got like three gifts. He got a cold spaghetti table. He didn't get a balloon arch. Um, nothing like that. These kids, like she's going a little bit farther. And here's what people are saying. They're saying, well, Bodhi's, you know, he's got sensory issues. Okay. So he doesn't get more presents because he has sensory issues. And it, this is the stands I'm talking about. Okay. Remember, this is stands. I have, I screenshotted some of the Stan's comments in because she obviously deletes them all. But I wanted to just make sure. So a lot of the, her like supporters will say, "Oh, he's got sensory issues." So I don't, I don't care. <laughs> That's so stupid. So you don't get your kid more gifts because they have sensory issues? Are you dumb? There's so many ways to overcome that, and your argument is so stupid. Here's one: he can open a few now, a few later, a few there. It's like it's a gift that keeps on giving, right? So don't give me that bullshit. And then the other excuse was, well, they're putting the toy room together for him. For him only? That toy room is only Bodie's? No one else gets to use it? Because then I'd agree with you, but you're wrong, and so I don't agree with you, and you're a bullshit liar. That leads a lot of people to believe that Alicia did this as a massive flex to the twin's mom, bio mom who's coming out. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not on the twin's bio mom's side. She lost custody for a reason, okay? And the other argument was like, oh, these kids deserve it. They've had such a hard life. Um, I don't know if you knew this, Stans who follow her, and I can't believe that I know this, but those kids have been with her since they were toddlers. I think 10 months is the thing. I could be wrong, but something like that. They don't know life before Lush. They don't. Now, I know that kids can have generational trauma and things, but if you don't have memories of that trauma, it's a little bit easier. I know it's not perfect, but it's a lot easier than like a teenager who comes from trauma. Guaranteed. Okay, or like a, a you know a five, six, seven year old. These kids don't know life without Alusha. They don't have memories until you're what two, three years old. So okay, that's not a good enough excuse either. So it really, really led people to believe that she just did this as a massive flex. And so it's kind of disgusting that she's got this bio mom and her children that are there with them, while these kids open up gifts that they'll never get. And it's just. It's gross. Not a lot of people will say, don't give your kid. Obviously, she went way overboard, and a lot of parents go overboard on their kids, right? We can argue all day long. I think it's stupid. Some people say, whatever, it doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't. What really matters is how she does it and how the kids appreciate things, take care of things, and how it's going to set them up for success for their future, which it's not, which is my big argument. So, sorry, I had to, I had to do that. You see the drippy, I'm fitted. Alright, boys are gonna play some football. I'm gonna set up for their party. They definitely needed four footballs. 
There's one right there. James is gonna walk with the doggy dogs. Oh my god, shut up. Such a loser. This video is an hour and 33 minutes long. Get yourself wrecked, eyebrows. It will not deter me. Finally, Grubhub is here. Wendy's. Can you imagine ordering Grubhub for this family? I hope she tips well. It took us forever to find a Wendy's that was open, and we found one. So here's the diet for the day. Kid, the kids are getting Baconators for breakfast. Baconators. Now, that's every single person's family. Plus, they probably have guests. So, they're probably like 16 Baconators. She got them each a large orange soda and, I think, French fries. Okay? Are you telling me that Bodhi eats a Baconator? Nevea eats a Baconator? Everybody just eats Baconators? Are you kidding me right now? There's just no possible way. And then she got, uh, I think she got pretzels. And if you look through this video, well, I'll try to stick through this whole thing, guys. I will. But I have to scrub sometimes because it's just so damn boring. But the, nobody ate any of it. If she just buys it for a flex and then throws it in the garbage. Could you imagine garbage day at, this people, at these people's houses? Oh, my God. I couldn't even. I, I wonder if the chickens eat it all. She probably has, like, chickens the size of rhinoceroses in her backyard. It's finally here. A 12, no, 14 baconator. What did I say? 14. And orange drink. Oh, my God. Again. There's no way Bodie's eating a fry and a Baconator and a large drink. Kid's like two. Your youngest is going to eat a Baconator? What is your problem? You're such an idiot. And here's a lot of people. because you, you let the kids choose the menu for the day. And I get that. How about you let the kids choose the dinner? Just the dinner. What do you want for dinner? She just goes way overboard. We are all hangry right now. <laughs> Because I think she said it in her video, the kids actually didn't get breakfast until like noon because they don't serve Baconators for breakfast at Wendy's. They have breakfast food. So they had to wait. But I'm sure they could have just went and eat all the junk food out of the closet. That's so bad. Baconators for breakfast. Oh my God. All right, lunch is here. We're gonna have bananas, a strawberry. Bananas, F off. And they wanted mall pretzels. Josh went and picked those up. And if you look through the video later, someone had pointed this out to me already, they didn't even eat those. There's probably maybe one got eaten. What a waste. You're such a disgusting wasteoid. Ugh! If you just didn't waste as much, people might be like, okay. All right, I'm going to start getting the food ready. What food? Oh, here we go. Hey, notice how they get heated up spaghetti sauce? That's nice of you. Um, let me move our yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna. No, 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 no. Fast forwarding through these really boring parts. Okay. Hear me out, Alush, just for a second. Okay, like you're, it looks like I think she's doing meatball subs for dinner. I got it. But just please, you've got friends, family. Come on over, guys. We're gonna make a million homemade meatballs. It's not that hard to do. It's really not difficult to make delicious meatballs at all. It really isn't. And she just buys frozen garbage full of preservatives, sugar, salt, and bullshit all the time. These kids have, I don't think these kids have actually had a home-cooked meal that was legitimately not from a pre-packaged, not that I've seen anyway. Not yet. Might be enough. You're dumb. That's 10 times more than you need. What, you put four or five meatballs on a sub? You have like 50 meatballs in there. Chill, lady. Oh, and I just need you to go somewhere else while I wrap presents. Wrap presents. Thank you. Okay, F off. I don't think this one's working. Let's see. It's working. Dumbass. Just cut it open. You're going to be cutting it open anyway. You're making dip. It's probably working. Okay, I'm fast forward. Find the lid. Okay, here it is. There it is. There it was. Watch, 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 watch. No, Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna pan over. She's making There's dinner, right? Watch, 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 watch. Sub rolls. I gotta find the lid. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Se There's like eight or nine um, pretzels still there. No one touched them. Okay, and they've got about eight, seven. Six to seven drinks I haven't even been touched. Just they just throw it right in the garbage. 
It's the waste, everybody. That's disgusting. You know what? And here's the problem with that. She's teaching her children that that's okay. That's not okay. There are people who go without in the world. These kids have zero clue about anything. And when the real world kicks them in the ass, they will not be prepared for it. They will not. Found it. I have to have Alex come get all this garbage from breakfast and lunch. That is his chore. Garbage. Oh, his chores to take out the garbage? You're such a... You're such a chore Nazi. Okay. You suck ass. Crackpot is like kind of crooked. Crackpot. <laughs> nice thumbs. <laughs> Thumbelina. I just have to like shove the lid on. Or make sure it's on there. Alright, I'm you. just setting out their presents and then I'm gonna wrap. Oh my god. Thumb. Presents. You're crazy, baby. <laughs> Is Nevaeh not wearing pants? Don't do this, Alicia. You're so stupid. It's almost like she does it on purpose. Your daughter's literally not wearing pants and you put her on camera. If you're going to be on camera, put your kid in some clothing. This is a minor. Oh my god. I don't... Okay. I'm surprised people didn't say anything about that. Alicia, didn't you get a new camera for your birthday with a microphone on it? Why aren't you using it? She literally doesn't care. She's just like, oh, I got this brand new camera. I'm still going to use my iPhone. What an idiot. Weird on me. Oh, she did get them the jerseys. Oh, my gosh. She didn't wear Bill's clothes to Bill's party. This woman is a gross person. Okay, laying out all this. Holy shit. This is more than my children get on Christmas. No kidding. Like, way more. <laughs> Holy shit. And this is their birthday. Ew, she has. Does Alush have a tramp stamp? <laughs> what? Alush. You got tramp stamp. Ew. Of course you have a tramp stamp. Of course you have a tramp stamp. <laughs> Ew, I can see your ass crack. She do that on purpose too? She's like, look at my path. I have a path. It's CD. All right, this is everything. Oh my and God. I'm to wrap before the twins come through here in Seattle. Their shitty shit that they're not gonna play with. Game stuff, two TVs, mm, two You sets, asshole. Four footballs. four footballs. Two hoverboards. Two rockets. Basketball hoop. Football. Yoda. It's Yoda. Trippy outfit. Something drippy. Stop it. You You're drippy. Dripping in shit. Okay. What is this? So those are like, I don't know, fidgets. She doesn't even know what they are. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, the camera's on, it better be nice. Yeah, get the F out of here. That was the F out of here look. You know that look that parents give your kids like, you're in the grocery store or something and they're acting up, you're like, you just, you don't even have to, it's, it's subtle, it's subtle. You're like, everything's going good and then they're like, can I? And you're like, and they know. So that kid ate a Baconator. Is that what you're telling me? A Baconator. Yeah. Is that a TV? Yeah, it is a TV, little dude. Your mom's crazy. Okay, I have a system, okay? There's no system, you damned liar. There's no system. She just gave this kid a toy and he's like, yep. Then no reaction. That's it right there. That's all you need to see, everybody. These kids are so incredibly spoiled that they get something like, I don't care. That is insane. If, I, if Westy, like, we order some, some cheap toys from China all the time. It's crazy. From AliExpress, just the cheap toys. When they come in the mail, that kid is never... I know I'm bragging in the bed, but Westy is so thankful if you give him a box to play with. He is so excited. And that's just, again, I'm not saying I'm a perfect parent or anything like that, but that's because I teach my children that you should be thankful for everything that you have. These kids are not thankful for anything they have. Yes, perfect. Wait, I'm just trying to make sure they have the same amount of presents to open. 
they don't give a shit if they have this. They're not even gonna like. This is so stupid. She's so worried about equity, except for <laughs> Bodie opens three presents and these kids get like twenty each. Gotta be fair. Ah, it's gotta be fair. It looked fair for Bodie, that's for sure. So You're such a disgusting. I hate this woman. I hate her. Not a lot of people I hate that much. Like, have there's no redeeming qualities. There's none. Zero redeeming qualities about Lusha. <laughs> oh, she uses a whole roll of wrapping paper for one TV. <laughs> That's Jason's birthday, too. It's Jason's birthday, and She cuts stuff like this much at the end. You could have just kept that there. Birthday! Yeah, yeah! It is Please. Please. <laughs> she just turns the effing camera on! That's it! She just turns the shit on! So. So. So, so. so. Oh, you got locked there. Oh, is this? Cute? Who the hell is this? Is this Nana? So did you and James have a good time yesterday? We did. Holy cow! Did you do shots? Sure. Is this her mom or his mom? And shoppings. That's why you took James. He's got lots of extra arms. He does. Thanks, Thanks Nana. Quiet. Goodness, because when you're at a mall, you don't have a shopping cart. Man, he has that. <laughs> please, just please. I'm you. Okay. Macintosh. No. Yeah. That's definitely her mother in law. You can tell the vibe. And Fuji. We went and picked apples. I'm bringing you. Yapples? Do they all have the Y in there? We went and picked yapples. Why is she yelling? Hey, Nana, stop yelling. Turn down your hearing aid or something. Applesauce. I know. Yeah, I, listen, I, listen, I, listen, I listen to the tape. Uh -oh. I listen to the. And I was like, yep. The pictures. Yes, I did. This lady needs to chill. Chill, Nana. Did you take your meds this morning? You missed your meds, didn't you? Well, Nana, you go have a nap or some shit. All right, please. How many words can you Oh my red? God, they look perfect there. Yeah. I don't like look this. Look at you in that dress, Cindy. Stop <laughs> yelling. Oh, you're on the wall. Oh. Jason, not Jordan, Jason. Yeah. Why do you know? Apple Bill's school and decoration is... And only, only Zoe in April. <laughs> you don't have, uh, no, I don't have any in May. No, I don't have it on. No, no, no. <laughs> the girl's sitting there. Oh, that's her. Yeah, Nevea. Well, it's your name again there, young girl. I thought she was the babysitter. Nevea? Oh, that's a nice name. You've known me for like 10 years, Nana. Oh, that's right. My bad. Oopsie. Wow, how do you keep telling people to get back? I know, you forgot your favorite grandchild's birthday. Yeah, something tells me that's not the truth at all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mom. Oopsie. So, um, how was, hey, how was uh, homecoming? Can you shut your dirty pie hole, Grandma? Why does she keep this? Nana, I'm filming here. Your voice is like the sound of dying hyenas. Can you please go yell outside? Thanks. Thanks, Betty White. I couldn't. How did that guy live with her for? Is this guy deaf? He doesn't have, he, he's deaf, right? He doesn't just, just turn his hearing aids on. That's it. Uh, drippy outfit. Oh, you said dripping again, you son of a bitch. They were so cute. And I always get a piece of paper ahead of time so that it's ready. Dripping outfit. Say, when did you start talking like that? Nana, come here for a second. I just want to tell you something. Shut up! Someone put this lady in a home. Stat! I, I adore him. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, she, what? He says stuff and I'm like, what? I know. Dogs, no. No, come on. Come on, girl. 
girls. <laughs> yeah, take the kids and get out of here. You loud ass, obnoxious old lady. Looks like, thank the Lord. Okay, I, I can't, I can't. Let's keep going here. They spend like 30 minutes wrapping presents. You suck ass. All you had to do was fast forward this bullshit. Then we didn't have to hear what's her face over there. Zsa, Zsa Gabor's great aunt Mildred yelling at everybody and screaming about yapples. Oh my god. That's a birthday. Hey, buddy. You suck. That's all I hear there. But they are wrapped. This is all garbage. That's, I agree, it's all garbage that they're gonna break and forget about. I want to go Now we're gonna lay out the healthy snacks. Snacks with a Y S N Y A K X S. Snacks. The waste. I hate these people. I hate them. Climate terrorists. A lot of them. Bon Appetit. Your shit's not even centered. Your font's garbage and it's not even like straight. You ever heard of a level? Okay. I got a D paddle on the wall. Get that D. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, Pam's ovaries are here. Alright, everybody, Pam ovaries. Get them ovaries, India. So I've learned since that Pam's ovaries is Deshaun's girlfriend's mom. So there you go. Great. Can you open it louder, please? Thanks. Appreciate it. So gross. And she probably didn't even wash her hands since she was like making chicken and shit. All right, ship opener. Piss off. Is that what pirate's booty is? That white stuff up here? Is this pirate's booty? Your cheese slicing is terrible. Garbage. Not even even. It's just trash. Nah, set it in the junk drawer because that's maybe. I can't find any toothpicks. Oh, that's way too thick, lady. Half that. Family room on the table. Why does she cut some things and not others? Like she just cut the space between that last slice and this slice. She had a cut there. Why? Is someone like saying the F word or something in the background? Why does she cut some things, but then lets her literal Nana yell into the camera for half an hour? No. No, honey, I'm looking for the football toothpicks I bought. Thank you, though. You're such a shitty slicer. Your slicing skills are garbage and you should feel ashamed of yourself. You're bad. And I hate you. Yeah, I had football toothpicks. Not even close, lady. Those shits are way too thick. You had football toothpicks, right? Yes, I had football toothpicks. I thought I had them with the football confetti, but I am not sure. Bill, there's leftover Wendy's in the microwave. Yeah, I'm sure there is like eight Baconators left. Oh. Kids are waking up. My God, Mom. Can we please eat something that's not going to destroy our whole livers and pickle our insides, please? Can we have something that's not going to kill us? Thanks. Appreciate it. Grab a yapple. You know, kids want to go through like the bad phase where they do bad things. They don't do what their parents say. These kids are going to go through like phases where like, mom, I can't only eat broccoli and shit. And she's going to be so upset. She's like, I bought all this shitty food for you. And they're like, no, I don't want to. And then they're going to be grounded because they're not going to eat it. Small pretzels. I hate you. Um, You're slicing a cool. shit. <laughs> Crackers are garbage. Can you go in the garage and get me a box of applesauce pouches, please? Yeah, just gonna throw some applesauce in here just so people know that my kids have the option to eat any applesauce that they're not gonna eat. Thank you. It's, you're gross. She's touching everything with her disgusting hands. You know she hasn't cleaned her hands in between touching any of this shit. I'm setting this. I got. Three things going here. We're getting snack made. Actually, the kids. Hey, you've got a husband, right? Nana and Papa there? You've got older children? Get him to help you! Dumbass! Yeah. 
Yay. Yay. Looks terrible. Thank you. Ooh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. Shit, your grocery store delivers your cakes? No, oh, thanks for Pam's ovaries. Why are people? She's like, look at these Pam ovaries cookies. Okay, I can't make cookies like that. I don't even know how to do. Sh They're literal sugar cookies, and she has a printer that prints that out in Comic Sans, by the way. So just based on that alone, you can get yourself wrecked, Pam's ovaries. I hate you. Your cookies are shit. Here are the cookies. They're garbage. They're garbage. Josh. Wow, Josh is really working hard out there with his belly. This guy doing. This guy does nothing in this house. This is the dinner table. We've got mixed fruit cups, applesauce, meatballs, subs, and buns, cheese, Holy sausage, shit and nuggets. white hats, and... So there's going to be like three subs each, three sausages each, 20 uh, cake and shit and baconators and pretzels. These kids are going to straight up die. Red hats. Yeah. I'm actually hungry right now. I'm gonna lie. Looks, the sausages are good. The snack table: <laughs> cookies, celery, carrots, chicken wing dip, shrimp, cheese, pepperoni, crackers, and nobody's eating the veggies. Jason's and the pile on the left is. Is this the loud, obnoxious lady that we don't like? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I have that for Goldie. You know they watch my shit. Lady, chill. Okay. Take a Xanax or some shit. Yes, I'm gonna keep that for when he starts having a fit, yeah. having a fit that it's not his birthday. Uh, did you guys pick that up? Bodie's having a fit because it's not his birthday. But he's got sensory issues and blah, blah, blah. That's, you're, I think Bodie's having a fit because look what you're doing for these children and what you did for Bodie. Bodie's sitting in his room crying because you gave him cold spaghetti, cold spaghetti sauce, cold ass meatballs and burnt breadsticks. I'd be pissed too. And this is a perfect example for parenting, right? So they're saying Bodhi's having a problem, right? Bodhi's got issues. That's what everybody says. Oh, I didn't give him a lot of presents because Bodhi's got issues. Okay, whatever. Let's say you're right and you're wrong, but let's say you're right. So this kid's having an issue, right? And I know she's got a lot of kids, but what does she do about the issue? Absolutely nothing. Bodhi can just sit up there and sulk that little asshole. That's what she's saying here. That's what she's telling you. She doesn't parent her children. She can't. It's impossible for her to parent children. First of all, because she's so damn busy doing everything while Josh sitting on his phone outside by the barbecue. Second of all, she, there's too many damn kids to take care of. I'm surprised that half of them aren't even like dead in the river already. Okay? And then when there is a problem, just they laugh at, oh yeah, whatever, just being Bodhi. Why don't you go talk to your child considering he needs you in his life? This is a perfect opportunity to say, hey, look, Bodhi, what's going on? I'd love to come sit and talk to you for a few minutes because I'm your mother. Holy shit. Gosh, <laughs> oh, my new chair. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna open the presents right now. Oh, no. Come the teenagers are like, oh my god, we have to come down there. Oh my god. I don't know. Are the teenagers inviting their friends over for their little brother's birthday? No. Not your friends. This is for a little kid. Some of these kids really just need to just... And I have teenagers, so I'm allowed to say this. Have a shower. Or three. Or seven. Just... Self-care. Please. Oh. Okay, so she orders a gaming truck. I, I heard about this. They, I think they got laser tag too. I didn't know they got a gaming truck. They, they just said laser tag. So... Here's what's happening. They're ordering a gaming truck, and the gaming truck pulls up. It's probably, I don't know, 500 bucks for this thing. I don't, know, like three, I don't know what it is. Okay, so it gets a lot of money. You pull up this gaming truck. So these kids who all have video games, and probably that's literally all they do, are now going to come outside from the video games that they were already playing and play video games in a trailer. That's cool. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> like, I could see getting something different that you don't have, like, you know, you don't have, but they already have video games. This is She's so right. dumb. You suck. There's a gaming truck and a laser tag truck coming. Yeah. And what did Bodie get? Cold spaghetti on a table. They got the Kona truck though, but these kids are getting like everything and Bodie got nothing. 
guys, I don't care if Bodhi has sensory issues. He clearly comes to all the birthdays. What's the difference between sensory issues between the parties he's at and his own party? I don't believe any of you. You're bullshit liars. This lady is overcompensating for something or flexing on somebody. Does she get hated on because she doesn't give these boys the attention they deserve or something? They're not even wearing shoes. Put some damn shoes. It's the fall. It's cold. Your kids are going to get sick. What I'm trying to tell you here at Lusha, parent your f***ing kids. <laughs> None of them are wearing shoes. None of them. Over here. Get over here. I can do this every day. This guy pulls up. He's like, oh, shit. Not living the life because he's, um, he doesn't have that life. Right he'll now. come. He'll come. Oh. Why don't you go talk to your son? Now he'll come, he'll come, just let him sulk. Go talk to your kid. Hey, Bodie, what's the problem? Well, you didn't give me any of this shit for my birthday. Well, that's because we don't like you very much. Come on down, play. Hey. When that Kona ice truck comes, he'll come down. Yay! To join us. Oh, my God. This woman is a disgusting shit ass. <laughs> you are a disgusting shit ass, and you should feel shame to yourself. You are the worst type of human Adopting kids for your own selfish gain You are gross You are gross You are gross And I hate you Yeah Just need a little song break for my own well-being, mental health and shiz Hey, Aaron! Are you excited? It's the first time you've come out of your room all day. That's nice. Wonder why. This poor kid. So the guy rolls up in a gaming truck and is like, let me turn this loud ass generator on. Let's go. <laughs> it's good for the neighbors. <laughs> you don't even ride the bike you have. Jaden, did you invite your friends to the twins' birthday? No. <laughs> yeah. So this is a friend of Alex's, and he and he invited his friends to this birthday party. I'd be like, no, you kidding me? I didn't do it. Hey, it yeah, all. Sounds like you did. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Nevaeh's out with no shoes, no pants on. Great. It's like, really? Oh! Gotta hand sanitize. Gotta sanitize. Hand, gotta hand a key. Gotta hand a key. Sit down and Shut up. This is such a waste of money. Every kid has a gaming console. So just hire a gaming console truck to come have the shit that you already have! This is Super Nintendo Switch and uh, yeah, I've everything. Yeah. They're not gonna play Nintendo, nor are they gonna play Sega. They don't know shit. They don't know those games aren't even fun for those kids. It's nostalgic for adults who had that growing up. Those kids will be like, this is bullshit. I have a better game on my iPad. <laughs> Why is a Nana in there? She doesn't know shit. The whole library. Thanks, dude. The whole library? The shit you say. The whole library. We want to play Fortnite, the game that we already were playing before we came outside. Oh, thank you. He got so sad looking because no one wanted to play Madden with him. Yeah. So Alex invites all his friends over for his little brother's birthday party. I'd be like, hell, you know. No? It's chaotic. No thing. Minecraft? You invite you paid hundreds and hundreds of dollars for your kids to play games that they already play. I don't I don't understand it. Why are you sitting in there, Nana? You're just taking a seat. This kid needs to seat. Let him sit there, you're just watching. Oh, it's a lot quieter in here. Pfft. 
Josh is such a useless lump of shit. This guy doesn't do shit, man. If I did this in my home, if we had 15, 16 kids there, and I just sat on a couch not doing anything, I would be dead by noon. And I would expect it. Cut me like she'd cut me. And I would be like, I deserve to be cut. What a lazy asshole. It's loud out there. Did you look inside it, Dad? I wonder what he thought like when people like found out he was sniffing his dick. That, that's, that's neat that's neat there that's some kind of something out there yeah what is it again they're just gonna take him away because that'd be nice who's over there this kid's like let's go to the house with all the snacks so i can hit full of sugar look how many cookies she has there it's like thousands and thousands how much waste goes on because there's no way they eat it all she just puts it in a big giant bucket the stuff I, it probably goes bad. Oh, Ellie came! All four kids came. They have um like joint custody of Eliana, so they don't always have her. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Hi, Birdo. So wait, who has joint custody? Who? So guys, if you want to go in the gaming truck right now, that is open. She said all four kids. Is this the is this the twins, brothers and sisters? Because. If you're hungry, there's food inside. At this point, Alesha, just buy the entire franchise. And then maybe you'll have an investment for when your shit hits the fan. She spends thousands of dollars on, I'm not kidding, ice. Crushed ice with sugar syrup on it. Thousands of dollars. Learn to make it yourself if they love it so much. I'm sure you could buy the damn things yourself. Did this says we, does that really, right there, it says we are nutritious and delicious. Are you, Kona Ice, are you nutritious? That's false advertised, sue the shit out of you. You're nutritious? How? How is any of this nutritious? You damned liars. Okay. Yeah, you'll go first. Yeah. He's getting all set up. Did that say $8? All right. Eight bucks. You've not seen our Twelve dollars. It's nutritious. Tiger's blood, lucky lime, blue raspberry, watermelon wave, cookie candy apple, strawberry D, island rush, ninja cherry, monster mango. Nutritious and delicious. More like pure cancer sugar. Come on, this kid's literally drinking cups of sugar. Cups of straight pure sugar. Oh, but sometimes you three start play fighting. <laughs> It's bullshit, man. This sucks. This birthday party's garbage. Winner wins. Winner wins, does it? Winner wins. Okay, that's literally what winner means. Stupid. A hole face. Head. <laughs> What's this pinata made of? Concrete? You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and get it. They, these kids can never break the pinata. Oh, okay. Smash therapy. Okay, these kids are literally full of just pumped full of sugar. Pumped. I'm surprised there's not been bloody noses and like broken legs and shit. I'm not sure what Oh, alright. So I think that's their mother talking. I tell them they're not biologically related to me, but they have my redhead rage. Yes. <laughs> Classy. Classy, Lush. Classy. Talking to their biological mother. I tell them you're not biologically related to me. Oh, are you? We are not? It's, I, that's news to us. <laughs> Is it funny? It's not funny. It's not. Probably having like sugar sweats. Probably in a diabetic coma. They chose to tackle it. Oh. It's their party. They can do what they want. Yeah, this is it. This is it. It's their party. Do whatever you want. Again, what if they really wanted something that would you give them anything? Really? So when's like Alex wants strippers at his birthday party? Are you gonna give him strippers? Yeah. <laughs> she would probably give him strippers. I'm like, I'm that's I'm saying she would. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. There's no rules. It's whatever on your birthday. No, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they're like, like arguing, laughing. You know what I'm saying? Like there's snide remarks, side remarks. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's whatever on your birthday. Shut your pile. <laughs> Does the dad do nothing? 
like literally nothing zero nothing because even alex does more than dad does and he's not and alex isn't even. she made your does she, is there a kid on a leash somewhere in here? Does she have a kid on a leash? Let me tell you this. If you put your kid on a leash, you're crazy. Like, okay, maybe your kid, you're out in like public somewhere, like Disneyland. Even then, I'm like, I'll still judge you a little bit, but I'm like, okay, I get it. Right? Especially if you have a precocious child. You're indoors. What's your kid gonna do? Your kid's on a leash? That's weird. Don't put your kids on leashes. It's creepy. Other mom. Who is that lady? I don't like her. Can you vertical video it? I need this for my TikTok. This is really important, guys. Look at this. She can't even celebrate a moment of their child's birthday without a camera on the entire time. A lot of people forget this. Because you just you've seen all her life. She has literally been walking around with a camera no matter what she's doing. Cooking, putting together food, wrapping presents, and bringing kids in, going outside, showing everything. There is always a camera on. She is never engaging with her children without a camera on. And she's not engaging with them. She's literally filming every moment of their lives and not spending a single moment on with them on their birthday one-on-one -on -one at all. Not saying any nights, spending time with them, giving them words of affirmation, saying, you know, it's been eight years, been such an incredible time. Nothing like that. Nothing. The entire day, it's been about Alusha and her camera phone filming this so she can get paid for it. And then, because she can't do a vertical one for TikTok, she's asking someone else to do it. Because that's all that matters to her. That's it. That's all you need to see right now. Nobody comments on like, do you ever put the effing camera down once, Alicia? Just once to talk to your children? How about that? Thanks. <laughs> All right, you ready? Happy birthday! No. Nope. Ew! Don't touch it, lady, with your freaking dirty hands. Does she just? She just said the words. I'm not giving them giant pieces because they've had nothing but sugar, while feeding them more sugar. At this point, what does it matter, Alicia? What does it matter at this point? Are you out of your effort? Look at her hands, covered in sugar and disgusting. She's nasty. You don't have to touch it with your hands. Ew! Every single person, she had something, anything. They're all catching hep C from her. This is disgusting, people. Don't do this. Ew! In baconators for breakfast. Is she literally sitting there saying, What'd you have for breakfast? Junk food, junk food. You've had junk food. She's literally almost scolding her children and saying, like, What did you have? Well, if you didn't serve them nothing but fing junk food, maybe they could eat something other than the fing junk food that you're feeding them. Is she serious right now? Like we're not hearing this? And this is another reason why she's so weak in this whole world. Because she films everything and doesn't edit it and leaves it in and doesn't understand what she's saying there. She's, li I'm not giving them more cake because all they had is sugar. Who fed it to them? Touch every piece of cake that's going that's real, 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 real sanitary there. Oh my God. Where's the dad to do some shit? I feel like there's almost this something going on where Josh's like, look, you do whatever you're going to do. You're making money cool. But this, I want to be on camera. I don't want to like engage with you. I don't like he's getting off like he's probably telling her like this is the ultimatum do it but I want no part basically that's what I'm thinking and she just does <laughs> and Alex has a dirty cast on his hand I'm sorry that's utterly disgusting you can't clean that and he's helping serve food while she touches every piece of cake with her s disgusting thumbs <laughs> ew Ew! Yeah, I just took the biggest piece. Who we got left? 
Donald's cake. Yeah. Donald. I'm going to make some cake. Donald. Alex, put your shirt down, dude. Help yourself, house. Like, just grab the cake. You're welcome. I think that was uh, the sister? Yeah, I'd walk over like, did you just touch my cake with your hands? Your bare ass hands? No, thanks. I'll, I'll go without. Did you touch everything with your bare ass hands? Actually, I did. I touched everything that's on these tables with my bare ass hands, because she did. Yeah, I was gonna say, just play them all out. You can just put it back on there. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. Tell your dad he's an asshole. No, we're still going. And then she's touching like. Every, uh, look, I know I'm not like I don't get grossed out by a lot, but she grosses me out. There's something about this, the color of her cabinets and shit. I'm just grossed out by her. I would not eat anything in this house. Nothing. I'd be like dead, dying. I'm in a forest. I've been lost for weeks, and I can't. I can't. I'm finally, I'm like, oh my god, there's a house. It smells funny, but I see a house. There's a bunch of kids running around. They're gonna and they get there, and I'm like starving for like I haven't eaten for two weeks, and I'm like, oh fuck, it's Doctor Who Dozen's house. No, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna sit here and die. That's what I'm doing. Dude, those are their own cakes. They don't have to share. Them. Alicia, you literally touched every piece of. Oh those my are God. Their presents. They are not sharing those. Yeah, I need personal cakes for that. Okay, leash lady or whatever. Do you want a balloon on it or no? Uh, no. Just a really tiny piece with the least amount of frosting you can find. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny, Liz Lemon's ugly aunt. <laughs> You're disgusting. You're gonna eat that? She wiped it off with her fingers. And you're gonna eat it. Can you like cut it like? Ew, lady, you don't you you care about the size and not that she literally wiped off with her own fingers. All you have to do is take a fork, lady, take the damn frosting off yourself, give it to one of the kids because they're gonna eat it, and then you're fine. Except you got lush to literally put her disgustoid fingers and wipe it off your cake, and you're good with that. Awesome. Here. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. No, you have some cake. Why is it not going to dinner? All right. Ew. Look at my hand. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Lady's not getting that. Throw that shit right in the garbage. You're definitely, you're absolutely going to get something from that. That's so oh, good. Oh, oh, so She's still good. Like, Grab a fork. Still trying to come down. Just grab the fork. Oh, <laughs> Ew, look at her hands. <laughs> Lady wants a fork. I told you, like She's trying to say something. Delicious, <laughs> just like, oh my god. You see the drippy I'm fitted up. Oh, I hate her. I hate her. You just, you're not, you're not, you're not family now. Okay, leash person. <laughs> hey, Josh showing up. And leaving. Hey, would you like some of this cake I'm going to touch with my hands? No, I'm, I'm good. Good to go. Are those like the forks? Yes. Yeah. Are they the fork covered in shit? Yeah, you have to use them. Jordan, but you're at the wrong pile. Your pile is by your dad. Jason, your pile is here. Oh, his dad's there. Bio dad, or he's talking with Josh. I don't know what she's saying. Because that'd be confusing to kids who are adopted. So I hope she meant Josh. Nope. They meant she meant their dad. Okay. Okay, we gotta see. We gotta see. So he he's showing the present he bought them, which is like a DJing thing. Doesn't even look like they even said thanks or anything, right? Now they open presents. Yeah, I can't wait to see if Opening up. Or not. Hat. Yeah. Oh my no. You like oh my it? God. I did good for once. They're just. <laughs> just oh, that's fire. Yeah. Oh. They're just like, oh, pff, pff, pff. here's an opportunity for you, Lisha, to be like, hey guys, we spent over $2,000 on your birthday. You just got to, you know, if you don't teach your children to be thankful and to be grateful and to say thank you for things, you are absolutely to blame when they grow up to be idiots, right? It doesn't matter how 
chintzy or how expensive the present is, if you're not grateful, you're teaching your children to grow up to be ungrateful assholes. And these kids, and it's not their fault. They're not, they're like throwing it away. Like it's, oh, okay, next, next, next. Cause this, this is their life. They do not appreciate anything that they have. And that's so telling. <laughs> and here it is. And I said this at the beginning. Their biological brothers and sisters are there. Bio parents are there. And they're opening thousands of dollars worth of gifts. Okay? And those kids are going to go home. And they're going to be like sad. Because they don't. will never get that. What Alicia could have done here. Was open up maybe the Jordan clothes. Or one of the big gifts that's it. And said thanks everybody. And everybody else who brought gifts. They open them up and they say thanks. And then when everybody goes home. You, you could, what you could do here to mitigate being the complete and utter disgusting asshole that you are, Alicia, is that they could open the presents later or earlier in the day before everybody gets there. That'd be great too, right? Not in front of the kids who are never going to be able to achieve that, considering that's, that's their brothers. This is what got a lot of people upset because she did this as a flex over top of their bio mom. This is everything you need to know about Alicia and that she touches shit with her hands. Okay. Whoa! Yes. Why are you gonna get a cool toy and not just shirt? That's yeah, exactly. Just on that one. <laughs> Doesn't even care. He just threw it on the ground. That was close. That's unbelievable. That okay. That's unbelievable. <laughs> not one thank you have I heard yet. Alicia's kids have no idea what being thankful means. That's, I'm sorry. You are a influencer and here is an opportunity for you to influence people. Be like, hey guys, say thanks to the camera afterwards or something. Force your kids to say thanks. Force your kids to understand what it means to be grateful. I don't care. Teach them how. No, it's things. <laughs> and there are the kids sitting there watching their brothers open thousands of dollars worth of gifts. And the dad and the mom. <laughs> And Pam's ovaries daughter. Oh my goodness, nobody will be able to sleep. You'll have that in everybody's face. Shut up, Nana. <laughs> I don't like Nana. She just thinks she might be in the bag here. You gotta say something though. I don't think Alicia's been drinking all day because we haven't seen White Claws. I don't know. But I haven't seen the alcohol. Okay. Maybe she's listening. Yeah. This kid's just opening shit and doesn't even care. This other kid's still in the first bag. And he's taking his time. Again, pick, put yourself in the position, and again, of the children that are their brother and sister over there watching them open a 32 inch television on in front of them. Just, I'm, I'm sorry. I know that's not their responsibility to not like, they, you know, they want to do this by just, she is so tone deaf to, to her privilege. And it is so disgusting to watch this. Thank you, Gigi. <laughs> Thanks, Gigi. And they didn't even list. They don't see it. Here's a card and some money. Don't care. They don't give a shit. These kids don't care. Uh, in his pocket. It's rich. Oh, oh my God. You're not supposed to show your money. They're like a whole handful of cash. <laughs> <laughs> he still hasn't said thank you. Even though she said thanks to... Thank you, Gigi. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. At this point, I'd stop them and say, you guys need to be grateful for what you have. Can you please say thanks to everybody who brought you a gift? Thanks. He just throws it on the ground. It's probably $80 football gloves. He doesn't. Here's a $150 football. They don't, he doesn't even... Guys, are you watching this? I know it's so overwhelming to watch. But as a parent, this breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Because she thinks that this is the way to their, their heart. But what you're actually seeing is the reality of it. it. They don't... Do they seem grateful for these gifts? Does it look like their love has been purchased? Right? That's everything you need to see right there. She's doing everything wrong. 
and she doesn't even see it. And that's even more dangerous because she thinks she is. Disgusting. Hoverboards. Yeah. It's crazy because he knows the brothers know he's gonna get the exact same thing his other brother got, so he's opening the presents way ahead, and this guy's not gonna be surprised. They each had a pile, yeah. You're gross. What? Take, put the fucking camera down for ten minutes and enjoy some time with your family, Alicia. She can't even put the camera down the entire day, not once, to be present with her family. It's always behind a camera. Mm, this woman. That's from Pam and Marissa. Stop yelling! Uh, and Deshaun, Antonio, and that's for They don't even care who it's from. They don't give a shit. Who cares? They're not saying thank you to anybody. Tyler, thank you. The sweatshirt. Look at if I. Uh, <laughs> If I was a kid, like these kids, I grew up like, again, you guys know I grew up poor. If I got any of these gifts as a child, I would be utterly ecstatic. If my son, who is, then my kids get anything they want to, right? Let's be real. My kids get good things. We don't obviously go like this. But for Christmas and birthday, if they want one good present, they get the good present, right? They would be literally just mind blown ecstatic. These kids open a freaking hoverboard and they don't even say a word. They're like, oh, yeah. What's in this one? What's in this one? A TV? Oh, yeah. Cool. What's over here? This? $150 football? Don't care. What? $75 gloves? Throw them on the ground. These kids don't care, Alicia. They don't care. All this was, was you flexing on everybody. This was all about you. This entire thing has always been and always will be about you, Alicia. Now are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Those stands and those haters that come talk to me about why do you care what she does? I'm telling you this is why I care. Because this is about Alicia and she cares nothing about anybody else, not even the kids that she's supposed to be taking care of because she can't even put the camera down for two seconds to spend some quality time with her family. What say you about that, haters? You are not bringing that one to school. <laughs> like you know what they're going to bring to school. No, you're not. What did these people do before the YouTube money came in? I really want to know. I want to know. These kids haven't even a couple things about a football and stuff, but they're never like they're literally opening thousands of dollars and they don't even give a shit. This is everything. Oh my God. Wow. I was, I'm just, holy. They are literally buried in thousands of dollars worth of gifts. Buried. Brody, or, and Bodie got what? Three gifts? And you wonder why people are saying some shit about you, Alicia. You wonder why people are like, what? They're swimming in presents from their birthday. Literally swimming in presents. Where are you going to put all this shit? You have no room for anything. I'm going to be busy tomorrow. Why don't you make them clean it up? Or, I don't know. 10 of the 14 kids that are at your house right now, maybe they can pitch in. Hey, if someone grab a garbage bag, help me out over here. I just fed all you assholes. Come on and help. How about that? Nope. She won't. DJ party. Don't touch my toys. Thank you for coming to my party. You're strong, you're beautiful, you're loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. Bye. See you next time. You suck balls, Alicia, and I hate you. Now, that was a long one, but it is what we, there's been some, there was some eye-opener things in there. A lot of people don't realize that she's always got a camera on at all times, literally for everything that they do. Imagine this, your mother is in your life, but every time you see your mom, she's filming things, which means that you have to filter everything you say. You have to be careful with what you say. She, she does too. She's not the real person that she is in front of the camera. 
Okay. Every single time that these people, even people are like, well, she spends one-on-one -on -one time with them. I, I'm going to read some comments. I know this is getting a long video, but it is what it is. You, you got to read some of these comments will blow your mind. And I forgot, I turned off the screen recording. So just have to trust me that they're there. Okay. So I, I obviously, I, whenever I see a video right away, I go to the comments because they, they take some a little while to delete them. So I, I download them. So a uh, person says here, what an embarrassing display to actually feel good about putting it out there for the world to see. Are we supposed to be envious of this total disrespect for money? What values are being taught to these children? A very sad situation. Someone says, oh, warmed up pasta sauce for these boys' birthday and not cold spaghetti table sauce like the other boys' birthday? How lucky for them. Someone says, it's a shame this is all a big flex because the biological family were there. Bodhi got three presents. Surely some of this would have been good for Christmas. And then this person says, Bodhi got more than three presents. He also got all that furniture. Okay. I, I, everybody who's got like a six-year-old, go give your six-year-old a piece of furniture and tell me what they think. You dumbass. For a brand new playroom. Again, and I say this, Bodhi's playroom is everybody's f***ing playroom. Why not take one of the kids on a day and spend time with them instead of buying and buying stuff? Kids want your time more than thousands of dollars worth of toys. Just saying. Ask them. I guarantee I'm right. And then the person that stands up says, you must not watch them or you'd know that she does spend time with them individually. <laughs> and then this person says, yeah, every Monday. Whoopee. So after all the kids go through their Mondays, they get one day every four months. Are you kidding me, right? And why does their time always have to be filmed? Put your phone down and be present with your kids. They deserve all your time and attention when they only get a few hours every four months. The kids are at least worth that much. And she's like, and I do watch their stuff. And then someone, no one has an argument to that, right? And it's true. If they get one-on-one -on -one time with their mom every four months, it's not enough, first of all. Second of all, she got the camera stuffed in their gob the whole time. She is a shit ass and I hate her. Materialism, materialism doesn't buy love. Oh my God, all the wrapping paper in our landfills. Bingo Bingo is like one of their big supporters that always goes into hate comments and like leaves comments. I don't know who Bingo Bingo is, but Bingo Bingo, you're a dickhole. Sorry to say, I feel bad for the twins, siblings, biological, who came to watch their brothers tear through those present piles and barely acknowledge all their shiny new toys and TVs and hoverboards. Ouch. They ripped through those gifts so fast, not stopping to appreciate anything or say thank you. They didn't even open to look at the shoes from Nana, just saw a shoebox and said shoes, then dropped them and moved on. The only thing they were happy about were the TVs. I would have been so lucky to have gotten my own smart TV as an eight-year-old. That alone would have been the only gift they needed, but a cheap regular TV without all the apps and access to the internet. Then someone says, she's raising a bunch of ungrateful brats. She could easily show them how to donate or volunteer with their money, but instead they do this they do this ungrateful mess. I don't care how bad your background is. She's not doing them any favors by teaching them they can be ungrateful and spoiled. It's a massive overcorrection. Good good point. And then someone says, and Bodhi got cold spaghetti. Just comments that, and if you go back, all those comments are deleted. Every single one of them. Because they can't handle it. And it's getting worse for them. I, I, their block list must be in the utter thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Engagement's going down and people are going to start getting sick of this and they're going to start turning f people sour. That's what's going to happen here. So this is everything that's all on Alicia and Josh. Mostly on Alicia because I don't think that Josh is on board for what's happening. Like, he likes the money for sure. But these people are spending upwards ten to $15,000 on junk a month. Just junk. That doesn't even include their mortgage or their bills. She could literally take half the money from all the kids' birthdays and say, I'm going to put it in this fund and go get a new septic tank so they can all start washing dishes and having showers and drinking water. But will she do that? No, she won't. This woman is spending money like it's going out of style and it's only going to serve to teach her children that that's how you're supposed to be. And when it falls apart and they can't have that anymore, what's going to happen? Bullshit. She's an for doing and and she's a disgusting piece of shit for having her kids open those presents in front of her their brothers and sisters like that that was disgusting so i don't know what else to say she's a piece of shit everybody take a deep breath ew you asshole but you're awesome incredible valuable make sure you realize how incredibly valuable you are and thanks for watching these videos with me being upset with me being here with me you're my Sometimes it's therapeutic, sometimes not. Today's video made me feel like shit because it's just, I feel like there's no hope for these children and it doesn't seem to be getting better at all. It doesn't seem to be heeding anybody's warnings, no matter what, if we're haters or whatever. There are people that aren't her haters that are saying, please stop doing this for the sake of the kids. And she doesn't give a shit. She continues to do this 
in spite of people. She's using her children to spite people like Maya Knight does, like other people do. Your kids are not your way of spiting people and should never be. So, but thank you for being here, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.